We are speaking to Caroline, Ollie and Patrick Pilkington and they're going to tell us about a new idea for storing rainwater. So Caroline, let's talk to you first. This is actually a new idea. Can you tell us about it? Well, basically, uh, we realised that everybody wants to recycle rainwater. And uh, so we went and found barrels, taps and rain saver devices. Uh, and it was quite difficult to source them all, but now we have them all and we've been selling them. This is our third year selling them here. And each year we sell more and more and more of them. Unfortunately, the barrels, there is a relatively limited supply of them, but I think we'll be able to deal with all our customers this year. Um, and so it's just a great way of storing rainwater. Now, there is a, a history to these barrels. Yes. Patrick, can you tell us about the history of the barrels? Yes, they, they originate, the, the oak is French oak, um, and they, made the, uh, they were probably made about 40 or 50 years ago in France, sent to Portugal, to the Oporto and Dura regions, to store port, and that, then that's for about 20 years. Then they're sent to America, and they are then used for bourbon, and bourbon can only be stored for quite a short period of time because it doesn't suit the flavour of the, the whisky. And then they come to Ireland, they only come to Ireland, and then they use for another 20 years to store whisky. And that tends, then after 20 years, they've lost their oakiness, and they then have to be um, uh, uh, either scrapped, well, we don't scrap them, we sell them. Uh, but Ollie's, this is a rather unique device as to how the, to the, the water gets down the pipe and doesn't overflow out of the barrel. Well, Ollie, can you explain all this to us? Now, I know Susan will be very interested in this as being a garden designer. She's very much involved in landscaping, etc. So maybe perhaps you could explain to us yeah. how this works in conjunction with the barrel. Well, you attach this bit onto your downpipe here and then the water will go down your downpipe and then into here and then it'll go into your barrel. And then when the barrel's full, the water goes back into here and there's an overflow part just in there and the water will flow back down your drain pipe. And then um, if you're going away or there's torrential rain and you don't want water going into your barrel, you put that up and the water will just go straight down your drain pipe and you, can, you don't have to worry about it at all. Now, I'm sure a lot of people have asked you, are these easy to fit into a drain pipe? Yeah, all you have to do, you just have to cut into your drain pipe and then you just slot your, um, you slot your uh, rain diverter into the drain pipe and then you're grand. Susan, can you see um, a lot of interest ahead with something like this? I can. We're going to have an increasing problem with water shortages. And I'm assuming, Ollie, that um, if you put a downpipe or something on your greenhouse or your shed, you could equally well fit yeah. a barrel and then you've got a handy supply of water when you're watering your greenhouse, you're watering your vegetables, whatever. Because we are increasingly going to have water shortages. You, you will get more water off your roof, though. Um, and we do supply different types of fittings. If, if for example, an aluminium pipe or even a cast iron pipe, that has to be specially ordered. But it works in the same way. Right, so you can then fit it to some sort of antique downpipe, the yes. sort of cast yes. iron jobs. So you can do three inch cast iron or, well that's terrific because there, is a, there are a variety of downpipes available, but they're very attractive. Can we just also mention the fact which you talked about was um, not storing water in plastic. Can you just talk to us a little bit about yes, that? It's rather like if you were to put a bottle of water in your car in the sun, it's carcinogenic and it's exactly the same with a plastic uh, uh, but you can't drink the water and I suppose if you really want to be pernickety about it and you put water from a plastic butt onto your vegetables for example yeah. that's going to absorb the carcinogen I mean the chance of you getting cancer out of it but nonetheless this is a much healthier way of, of uh, doing it we have three different types of pipes uh, taps a duck tap, yeah. uh, a snail tap and a frog tap and the, and the main thing about it is never to let them dry out because otherwise they will, they will shrink and split. And how long do you think one of these barrels would last now if you bought it today? Oh, at least decades. I mean, uh, another 100 years. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That's absolutely well, perfect. 50 years, certainly. Yeah. So anybody who might be interested in buying one of these barrels, how can they do that, Patrick? Uh, Caroline is the one to ask that question. Okay, let's go over to Caroline. 
Caroline, how can somebody buy from you? Well, they can go to www.simonstownhouse.com or simonstownarchitectural.com or they can ring us and if they find the website, they can ring us and they can just order one over the phone. And we deliver, we're delivering all over Ireland. We're going to be spending the summer delivering barrels everywhere. Well, Caroline... Ollie and Patrick Pilkington from Simmonstown Architectural. Thank you for talking to us at Gardenville.tv this afternoon.